Hey guys, welcome to another Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts re unboxing review. This time we're looking at Trunks, and it already came pretty fast from uh, BBTS. I'm very, very excited about this figure. Uh, got a really cool look for it. Get it out of the BBTS box. Been really excited for this one. Ah, there it is. He is in his sideways, uh, sideways uh, display there. Now the reason why he's in there kind of sideways is because that's the only neutral face he has where he's staying off to, to the side and that's, um, you know, I understand what they did here, uh, you know, making this like his kind of go-to stance because one of the best uh, pictures of Trunks in this armor is a drawing from Akira Toriyama uh, during the Cell Games where he drew this really beautiful picture of Trunks in the stance and I guess that's why they chose this just to perfectly mimic that. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up very carefully. There we go. Open it up. Of course it's got the new uh, box style that uh, Super Warrior Awakening Goku and Beerus have, which I've really come to like a lot. I was I didn't like it too much at first because it just stood out so much, but I'm really liking it a lot. Got here you have trunks and got the plastic here. Take that out his feet all right so here you have him so before we uh, go into the figure himself go over the accessories just like the regular trunks the first one he comes with the Super Saiyan head and a regular head with the ponytail which is always a really cool look for him He's got uh, two additional faces for the Super Saiyan head. It's got an angry face, if it'll focus, please. Please be a good boy, camera. Come on. Does this not know how to focus today? There we go, damn. But still. There we go. It's got a more of an angry, tense face there. Okay. And he got a yelling face here. Both of these look really nice. And it got the looking off the side face here. But so there's no uh, neutral, just looking straight forward face. This is the only neutral face it comes with. Um, and as far as the power down face, that's the only one it comes with. Kind of disappointed by that. I would have liked for it to have come with uh, one more uh, neutral face. And you can still take out the, the front hair here to take out this face. So we're going to try actually uh, swapping out, see if it will take uh, one of the faces from the first the premium trunks here in a little bit and he comes with uh, two fists somebody playing some gangster rap next door uh, he also comes with two grippy hands two blast hands and a pair of cross arms which I'm very happy to see uh, I was kind of pissed off at first that you know was, uh, this was before the new Vegeta was announced that Trunks got crossed arms, but the premium Vegeta didn't get cross arms. Because I've been saying this for a long time, if there's one character that should always get crossed arms, and it's it's Vegeta, because he just does. He's my favorite character, and he always needs crossed arms. But only one official figure so far has had them up until. Uh, next month so if we're to swap out the heads uh, 
pop off that head. And just like how I always like to do, I like to take off the face to uh, exchange the he heads. Just makes it a bit easier. Although that one went on pretty smooth. Uh, I don't really think I need to do that every time for this one. A lot of times it's kind of difficult. And oh, this face did not go on all, all the way and actually came back off. Oh, yep, yeah, make sure it pushes it on all the way. That looks pretty awesome. Wow, looks this is I very happy that this trunks figure was released. I, rem, I when I did the video about all the SH figure arts that were shown at uh, Tomashi Nation's convention last year, this was one of the ones I was very surprised with, and uh, was hoping would get and. Yep, very happy we, we now got it. So, let's uh, do a little experiment here. You cannot swap heads with the pre this premium trunks hair just because the ball uh, joints are completely different sizes. And you see that the faces, if my damn camera would focus, there we go. Uh, do look different, but we're going to do an experiment to see if, say, you can put this uh, mean angry face from the premium trunks on this trunks here. So let's go ahead and take that off. No, you cannot because. These are circle pegs, and the one on the premium trunks are square pegs. Lame. So that's a kind of a dick move on their part. So unless you did some hot, heavy modification, guess what? That's the only trunks face you can have on this guy. Which, okay, I know that, you know, that's kind of, maybe because having these new bodies is, uh, Kind of is a lot more expensive than these older ones, but the for the premium trunks came with uh, three Super Saiyan faces and two normal faces, but that's even less than the first trunks, which came with four Super Saiyan faces and three normal faces, I think. And now we're down to three Super Saiyan faces and one normal. Kind of silly, I think. But uh, benefits of having a new body or it's uh, a good bit taller. I always felt that the, this trunks is too short because trunks has always been taller than Vegeta. And you can see here that, you know, they're about the same height from head to toe, not from hair to toe. But as you see here now, that this, it, this looks awesome together. Looks very cool. And I'm sorry, my camera will not focus. Uh, okay, now about the cool points of this video. So you see that they change a lot in the Saiyan armors here. I do, however, dislike how there's no pinstriping on the new body style. I really like the premium and the first release Super Saiyan Vegeta's for having this pinstripe go around the front and on the armor crests here. This one is... Uh, no, nothing here. It's all just uh, molded on. I mean, it looks fine. It looks. It, there's nothing really to complain about. But you can't really deny that this does look a bit better. But as far as functionality-wise, I like the design of this a lot better. Uh, it looks a lot more natural. Uh, you got that mid torso joint, so you can get some really nice poses. You pull it up, you can. And we, if you lean back too much, you get a bit of a gap there. Uh, but if you lean up forward, you don't get a gap here in the back. But it's it's just a lot more natural looking poses, I think. And it's got a new uh, shoulder joint here, which allows for some great movement. Uh, double elbow joint, which allows for great mo movement here. Uh, everything else is kind of standard in the short, in the arms. Got new 
uh, white uh, hip gimmick here, which yes, there's a lot of sections here, but I this little detail here I like because it makes it just like much more one fluid motion here and without having to move like if you're to do try to do that on this figure you'd have to move this part down and just it gets some and there's a really bad cabbage there but on this one you know you can get all those great motions and everything for the most part looks natural and double knee joint here and a little bit of ankle joint here and toe movement and got the uh, molded in creases in his toes here as opposed to the premium Vegeta where since the original figure was just all white boots they just painted the the gold the tips gold there so this is a incredible figure so let's go ahead and get him in his iconic pose here for this uh, trunks figure in his same armor so we're just gonna pop off these arms I always think that's hilarious when they swap out I know that let's see how difficult it is on this guy the Vegeta or not the Vegeta the Piccolo kind of difficult Pretty difficult on my Tatong Scouter Vegeta. And really easy on this trunk. There's no difficulty at all doing this. Looks very awesome. Wow, I am liking this a lot. I just, I, I, I kind of wish I could, you know, just put the sword on him. Uh, even though he never had the sword in the armor. I just like to, you know, be able to do that. Why? Well, I, I don't know. Um just to make him look I love this figure this is I'm not a huge Trunks fan I like future Trunks a lot better than the Chibi or present Trunks I, I like the dark history behind this Trunks a lot more than you know, the Cappy Go Lucky Silly Trunks he's not my I, I, I cannot say where he would be on my top favorite characters from Dragon Ball but with that being said this oh man I think this is probably definitely the top three best Dragon Ball VR figures so far anyway there's some really good ones coming out um, that I'm really looking forward to but this is a definite must buy for any Dragon Ball Z fan this is an amazing figure the only downside is I it needs it needed at least one more normal uh, trunks face and some pinstriping on the armor would have been nice but it's that's just nitpicky there. Uh, oh yeah, and yeah, you, you I'm not sure if it was functionality wise or them just trying to be assholes about it, but yeah, you cannot put this trunks hair head. On this trunks because to see how uh, big that ball joint is it is a lot bigger than the socket on this trunk so you can have it rest on there and he got a super long neck and it makes his head look really tiny but that's that's the best you can do uh, however I think you could probably do this if you want so yeah you could do that it does it it just sits on it um where is this yeah, where, it's, i mean it, yeah it just, it just sits on it so you can do that if you really want to kind of interesting looks like it's just yeah, i mean it looks fine but it's not actually on there it's just resting kind of neat neat gimmick definitely pick this figure up while you can especially with trunks coming back in uh, Dragon Ball Super I can see any trunks merchant merchandise selling out very fast so please pick this up as soon as you can and you can buy it from clicking the link in the description below uh, at bigbadtoystore.com you can uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube uh, for the latest Dragon Ball news and reviews you can 
Uh, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. You can Instagram me too, SSJAutobot, and I'll catch you next time.